welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christophe Ambrose, and it's a new month, but not a new campaign. We're going to keep right on trucking with the Philippine-American War. Today's episode is episode number 364, and I have one birthday to go over today, and it was actually yesterday, December 1st, 1969. That birthday belongs to Britt Slabinski a former Master Chief Special Warfare Operator who received his Medal of Honor for his actions in the war in Afghanistan operation Enduring Freedom. He turned 51 years old yesterday, so a very happy birthday to Mr. Slabinski. I covered his episode back on episode number 208, and I'll have a link in the show notes for you to go check out his story. He is also the oldest Medal of Honor recipient for the Global War on Terror. So he's the oldest of the youngest. That's another way to look at it. So that's all I have for today as far as birthdays. I have a few more coming up. So let's move right on into today's Tale of Honor. Like I said, number 364. Frank was born on the 10th of November, 1875, in Fort Abraham Lincoln, which is now North Dakota, but was then the Dakota Territory. At the age of 15, his father died from complications of the wounds he received as a Union Army soldier in the Civil War. Frank then went to work with the Northern Pacific Railroad and later became a machinist. In 1894, Frank was 19 years old and he enlisted in the National Guard and he deployed to the Philippines during his second enlistment. It was his actions as a corporal on the 13th of May, 1899, with Young's Scouts that would earn him and 11 others the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... With 11 other scouts, without waiting for the supporting battalion to aid them or to get into a position to do so, charged over a distance of about 150 yards and completely routed about 300 of the enemy who were in line and in a position that could only be carried by a frontal attack. Young Scouts was a select group of soldiers that was formed under William Henry Young from Vermont. Of the original 25 members, 14 received the Medal of Honor, which was the only award for valor at the time. Frank worked in the mining industry after the war and went on to graduate from Ripon College in 1906, having only a 7th grade education and a few months at Dakota Business College. He received his Medal of Honor on the 3rd of March, 1906, and went on to the University of Wisconsin-Madison to study civil engineering. He was the first person to be awarded a scholarship by that university, and Frank became the chief engineer with the Utah Smelting Corporation in 1909. Frank was commissioned as a captain in 1918 with the Corps of Engineers, and he was transferred from Fort Dodge, Iowa, to Fort Riley. He ended his time in service as a major, and he and his wife Mary had one son and one daughter. Franklin, who went on to serve in the U.S. Army, reaching the rank of lieutenant colonel, fought in World War II and was a survivor of the Bataan Death March, which, ironically, took place in the Philippines, where his father had fought 43 years earlier. Marion served as a missionary to India. Frank Lafayette Anders died on the 23rd of January, 1966, at the age of 90, and at the time, he was the oldest living Medal of Honor recipient. He is buried with his wife and children in the Hillside Cemetery in Ripon, Wisconsin, Block 108 Western Edition, Lot SE, Quarter 7-7E, Grave 5. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.